Let's say you wake up one morning with a red eye. Your knee-jerk reaction is probably to go to your family doctor, and most likely you're going to walk out of that office with some antibiotic drops. Which is absolutely fine if it's a bacterial issue, you've solved the problem with the drop. If they do come and see us instead, we can tell by looking at the eye if it's viral and they don't need an antibiotic or if it's an antibiotic related issue or if it's something that require, requires a mild steroid, if it's a dry eye or if it's an allergic reaction. But here's the thing, your family doctor is qualified to provide basic eye care, but that's about as far as it goes. The family doctor is a little bit limited in what tools they have to look inside your eyes. Plus, they, they're dealing with having to have a broad knowledge of so many things. And so, depending what the symptoms are, they're limited in the treatment or in the diagnosis that they can make if they don't have the equipment to see if it's a retina issue or if it's a, a, an eye pressure issue or what the case might be. And here's where you're vulnerable, especially if time is of the essence. Let's say your retina has been detached. Getting a timely diagnosis is absolutely critical. Let's look at the example of a patient who comes to his optometrist after seeing floaters. Because he's got floaters, we know what we're looking for. We know we're looking for a retinal tear, a retinal hole, retinal detachment. The family doctor knows that as well. However, we have the abilities and the tools to dilate the pupil, use our lenses and our uh, microscope to look for a hole and tear now that the pupil is huge. And once we found his, we knew this was an emergency. With a retinal tear, often the main part of the eye, the optic nerve and macula, can be seen normally. But when it comes to a tear or detachment, the area of concern is the far periphery of the eye, and it needs to be attended to now. That's why heading to the optometrist first is so important. The process of a doctor referral can take several days depending on what that referral is for. A referral for floaters versus a referral for a retinal tear makes all the difference in the world. A tear can progress pretty fast and start to peel part of the retina, detach part of the retina away fairly fast. The more that the retina tears, the more you lose out of that peripheral vision, and the more it tears, the greater the loss in those corners of your vision. That's why an optometrist needs to be your first choice when it comes to the health of your eyes.